for the YouTube mock-up. And like every mock-up, there are different things we have to pay attention to. But before we even look at the layers, let's make sure that your group did the group check-in slash creative cloud check-in because your ping files should now all be placed here, including your username ping, so that you can all be using the same username and then you should be able to easily access your picture. So with every mock-up, it's all different depending on who made the mock-up. So this one is actually not as similar to the other two that um, I had chosen for the story and for the um, post. And that's okay. It's just you have to figure out how to edit it a little bit differently. So the first thing you're going to need to do is change the image that goes inside the window. So if you click on that, it'll take you to the layer that says place your design here. So you're going to double click on that. And then you're going to take your YouTube ping and you're just going to make sure to stretch it past a little bit past the outside just so you don't get an awkward red border around the edge. If you are doing this and distorting your image, then you need to stretch it. You're holding the option key so that you don't end up making it look messed up. Go ahead and command S to save. And now it's inside. It looks really nice. So now we're going to have to go ahead and change the username icon as well as the name. Let's focus on the icon first. And when I clicked on that with my move tool, I automatically got sent to this layer. So I'm going to double click and then in my library, I'm going to glide across here. I'm going to center this and I am going to hold option and shift as I drag it out and click return. Now you're going to do command S to save and go back and you should see your icon right inside the circle. Let's double click here and we're going to change the name. Don't change the font style or size or style and also make sure that everybody in your group has spelled this correctly with the right punctuation. Okay. Last but not least, before you started these mock-ups, I asked you to talk to your group about what kind of color gradients you want for your background so that you all have the same one. Each of my mock-ups right now has a specific blue gradient. So I've got to go ahead and turn my gradients on and you do that by clicking on your, um, actually you don't need to click on that. You can click on the window and go to gradients and the panel will open up, or the properties panel will open up, okay? You have many categories of colors that you can choose from, but this is where you all universally need to pick the same one. So I'm gonna open my blues, and I'm gonna rename so I can see the name of this. Yes, that's the one I want. Okay, I know that I have chosen the blue 17, and it's gonna be the same for all of my other group members. And then I'm gonna simply just grab my paint bucket, which is right here underneath the gradient tool. Yours probably looks like this. Go ahead and click, hold that down, grab the paint bucket, and you have your blue selected, and then you're gonna click. That's not good. There it goes, okay. All right, and then you can put that back if you want to. Okay, so it has clipped itself into the original background color and we are ready to save this. When you save it, you wanna make sure to add your name in the front with a comma so that you have an extra copy from the original. And then you're gonna export it and turn it in as a ping. Perfect. Export. Save. Alright, that is the YouTube thumbnail.